When you had Barry Bonds, leave all the other talk around the latter part of his career out of it. How good was he, naturally, of all the players you've seen in your life? Well, he was terrific. I mean, you could see this when he came up. Although, I do believe this. I think with all big league players, there's a certain sense of insecurity when you first get there. You know you're good and everything, but all of a sudden you see these other big league players, and I think there is a moment that flashes in your mind where you say, am I really good enough? And Barry went through some tough times early on. Barry Bonds are ready to be kicked out of the ballgame. Overall, it seems, when he played for you and since then, you've had a very good relationship with him. But since the cameras were rolling, people remember the incident in the early 90s where you really chewed him out during spring training. What led to that and how did the two of you resolve it? Barry was upset about his contract. I think it might have been an arbitration situation and he wasn't really being cooperative in spring training. And then coming off, I heard his, what appeared to be a little spat with Bill Verdon, who was such a respected veteran baseball sure. guy, the quail. And, uh, you know, I snapped. It was building throughout the drill the whole morning. Barry wasn't going to work at the intensity in which the coach wanted him to. And consequently, when he was challenged by the outfield coach, Bill Verdon, Barry snapped back at him. Jim Leland happened to be there and they didn't appreciate it. It didn't matter who you were, you were going to do things right. And uh, I think from that day, everybody knew who the captain of the ship was. You want to be here? Get your off and quit. So let's get the with right. I don't want to see you no more. If there's anybody that doesn't have an ego, it's Jim Leland. But I do know one thing I am the damn manager, and I'm going to run this damn team. And people that aren't happy with that can go play somewhere else. I can't help it. Hell, I don't want to lose Barry Bonds, but I can't help what went on. To me, you, he was right, you know, and he knows that, and I know that. No player is supposed to be on his coach like that. And Leland came over and did the right thing. And I told him, I said, Skip, you don't ever have to apologize to me for that. You're right. The fact that he stood up to Barry Bonds, Jim Leland gains respect from everybody on the team and from Barry Bonds. And the relationship grew closer. <laughs> and then Barry became a better player. I ended up with the right guy for me. It's hard to explain when you get that lucky as a young ball player to have such a, a great manager. To really have someone that believed in you, that believed in you as a player, believed in you as a person, never judged you, and that was the type of person I needed. Leland was what the Pirates needed too, as his no-nonsense style quickly made him an icon in Pittsburgh. Here comes a guy who's the manager of a blue-collar team. He ain't putting up with no crap. And I think that sealed his legacy forever. <laughs>